welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest. You guys want to say hello to Dylan? <laughs> Hi Dylan. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Today I thought it would be fun just to have Dylan on my channel just because it's fun and he's here. So why not have me on my, you know, my video? Hey, it's fun. <laughs> We're going to share um, like top Lux home decor finds from Amazon under $50 today. So I did get quite a few new things and then I have some of my favorite staples as well. Everything will be linked down below as always. And yeah, let's jump on in. Do you wanna share the first one? There's quite a few things. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, it looks like a natural stone. Now mind you, I haven't seen any of this prior to. I'm these just... are new, we just got these in. Yeah. Um, this one, it looks like a natural stone. I mean, it's a uh, I think candle it's marble. holder. Yeah, you can tell because like underneath yeah. you can actually see like some of the stone stuff going on. Yeah. Um, but it does come with those little guys as well. So and look how cool these ones about are. Scuffing. Look at this one. How cool. So it comes yeah, with a set of two. Um, I think they're marble. But they're well, this, a set of two. Yeah. I thought. That one has too many feel holes, heavy it is. Yeah, they are really heavy. Yeah, I think it's marble. But it's a set of two and they're like little candlestick holders. And I like the texture on them. I think that they're just super cool to like decorate shelves or bookshelves. And it just gives something different to your decor. Um, I just like texture on stuff too. Like, you know, just mixing textures like behind us. I feel like I have a lot of like smooth stuff going on. I need to add like some stuff with texture back there. Yeah, these know. fit pretty well with what we do because it's always like black and white. We always do neutrals. So. We stick to neutrals, even though you were in blue today. I know, All right? <laughs> so, big surprise, we've got black and white again. <laughs> we have these little donuts. I think that's what they're called. Oh, I have no Rings, idea. donuts. I mean, they're basically an interesting decor piece that you can add on top of some coffee table books. You can put them on top of like a little tray. They're just, there's something to give your decor, like a little bit of texture, a little bit of like structure, kind of like sculptural vibes too, like very art aesthetic. I don't know. Yeah. I almost feel like you need like a book or something to put it on. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. can't just, well, you can just set it somewhere. You could, I mean, but that, I, you do that a lot. That, that looks nice. Books help, so. Comes in white, black, I think maybe like a wood color too. Um, I'll show it to you guys a little bit closer up so you just can see the detail. It's really nice. I think this is from like a handmade brand too. Like there's a lot of smaller brands on Amazon that I like to buy home decor from, but like sometimes they don't make the, the biggest like batches of stuff. So they kind of go quick, like Bloomingville, Creative Co-op. Those yeah. ones are really cool. I like the Barefoot Contessa today or something in this. You know, she always wears like a black, like, I don't know. Look, I should be baked. Don't up. know the barefoot contest. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, What's the husband? I'm a. Uh, You're Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. Oh, You're Jeffrey's Jeffrey. getting into trouble. Uh -oh. He's at the. He's at the deli. He's at the wine Watch shop. Watch out! I wonder what trouble he's getting into. <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of trouble, let's talk about some um, coffee table books. All right. How many do we have? <laughs> we have four. Okay. You want to talk about yours first? That's a new one. Sure. And these are old. So, uh, remote places to stay. I just got this one because I saw it from another YouTuber and I was like, this is so cool. I love coffee table books. Yeah, the most unique hotels at the end of the world. And we want to travel a lot, especially when our kids are older and like, you know, they're, we want to take them across the world too, but like once they're older, like we do want to like travel. Yeah, they're a little too young to really care about yeah. some of this, like the stuff we'd take them to. Uh, they'd probably be a little bit bored, this but I'd love like to go. This is all like the most like unique hotels all over the world. So pretty cool inspiration. Um, coffee table books are just like beautiful to have in your home and like use for decor, get inspiration from. I love to just like, you know, have a glass of coffee, not a glass of coffee, a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and like look over my coffee table books. This is one that I've had forever. It's called Down to Earth and it's just laid back interiors for modern living. I love this one. Coffee table books are just a must have for decor. You know what I mean? They're just a must have. And, and they're so around, much you can, cheaper. You can read one. Yeah. And this one's, the, this one's still the slow home. So this one's kind of just like, I don't know. It's just very inspirational. A lot of like minimalist stuff. Um, a lot of neutral home decor and it goes actually into like certain people's houses and tells their stories, which I think is cool. It looks like we may have got something on this one. on that one. Yeah, maybe like a candle or something. You actually ordered that one when you were looking for inspiration for the walls. So yeah, we were gonna do a really big remodel uh, and make a whole area of the house look very Parisian. And so we got a bunch of these books to sort of see what 
what that is. So, yeah, Parisian uh, interiors. We were gonna do it in my closet. Like we were gonna do like a whole like Parisian, like bougie kind of closet. And then we decided, nope, we're gonna use that money elsewhere. Cause it was gonna be like, what, $100,000? It was It, it was a lot. It was, we it use was, that to invest was, in some real too estate. Much. <laughs> <laughs> we use that for some real estate, but stay tuned on what that real estate is and maybe we'll share that in a video someday. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. Right. Parisian interiors. We did that one. You want to show inside of it? Uh, sure. I mean, it's black too. If you need like, we've took the cover off. You, of you can pre-distress it if you'd like. You can put these nice stains <laughs> on there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's see. I mean, I love coffee table books. I just feel like they make your home, I don't know stand out you know when you go to rh restoration hardware they have the coffee table books out and they're like or when you go to like a boutique and they're so expensive i remember when i was in seaside with my mom we went to a store and like one of these coffee table books was like so much more expensive than what it is on amazon so all right what do you have there dylan it's a box <laughs> i don't know what it's made out of but i like it it's really pretty and i just feel like it's something to stack like when i'm doing like shelf decor i like to stack whether you know books trays just to have like a variety of stuff and it looks kind of like marble like it almost looks like, like an ivory but obviously it's not ivory yeah i mean uh, you could even have it on your console table like by your front door and put your keys in it every day so you know where your keys are or your wallet or whatever have it like next to your bed too like with like the things like you know that you need for next to your bed and it also has like a little like anti-skid little marks yeah, on the bottom we put that on everything we usually get anyway because yeah. Um, yeah it's cute i like it a lot so I love little boxes, which is random, and this one was actually pretty affordable. So. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's cute. Um, another one next is this guy, and everyone's always like, what the heck is that? I have this in a few different colors. Like, I have it in, like, a natural wood color. I going to say, I've seen this before. Yeah, it's cute. It's I think it's in our kitchen right now. So I'll typically just put it in the kitchen, like, put, like, the little salt and pepper things on it sometimes. Yeah. Like, those little, like... What are Pinch they called? Pots. Pinch pots? Ramekins? No. I'm learning a lot of the terminology for home decor <laughs> lately. <laughs> well, it's just cute and it's another thing to like stack. Like if you're stacking books and you're putting like this on top. I don't know. I just like to create um, like just different like layers and heights and textures and like mix all, all different things because if you stick with like the same kind of color waves, but then you like mix patterns and stuff. I think it just kind of looks really cool together. So this is really affordable too. And they have like oval ones. This is just like, obviously like the black, like little rectangle, but it's a really cool little thing to have. Actually, once you get it, you'll come up with ideas. I think you had, uh, you went to college for some, like you went, had some like courses on that. Cause you always like mentioned this, Oh yeah. Decorate in threes and all this stuff. And I didn't go to college for that. Well, not specifically for that, but I feel like there was, well, I did related. Yeah. I did start out with interior design and then it was like super hard and I was like, I can't do this. Cause I had to like draw. I'm not a person that can draw, but I can like visualize and do things. But I was like, oh my gosh, we had to like create like some sort of like 3D like sculptures. And I was like, I'm out. So I did apparel merchandising <laughs> instead, but I love home decor. Um, anyways, we talked about the box. Okay. Next up, these faux olive branches. I've decided that I love faux ol like olive trees. That one's all bent that we have right there. <laughs> We've tried like other trees, like the fiddle figs and stuff like in Florida, but I just, I don't like them as much as I like the olive. And I, these branches are really good and they're really realistic looking. They do have the olives on them. You want to like show how yours looks as a set? Like sure. that one, I mean, it, that's how many you get for like 27 bucks. This is one little stick. It's actually super realistic looking, really nice. You can put them in any sort of like vase that you have around the house you can bend it to make it obviously like shorter you can we use wire trimmers sometimes to yeah trim and these what have you wire and how's yours short how is mine short oh no yours isn't short no you just straighten them yeah i just straighten them so yeah these have wires in them so yeah you can bend them yeah you can bend whatever them way you want. mold them make them whatever with any sort of vase um i have vases back there but yeah just kind of bend them to whatever like vase you have or cut them with wire trimmers but these are a really, really good find and they're really affordable on Amazon. The Pottery Barn ones are like four times the price. They're a little bit taller, but these are, I think, tall enough, in my opinion, for most of the vases that you'll find. 
like at Target or wherever. Yeah, well, at least what you told me was you like the olives because you think it like it's not so intense green. Yes, it's... I hate super, super green, like plastic. Yeah, I mean, in, in a little bit further away, it's harder to tell when it's not real because some of the times yeah. that like really bright green, you can tell. Yeah. Uh, like the ones in Florida we have, they're kind of like so green, like the banana yeah, leaves. But it sort of fits in Florida. It fits that vibe, but I feel like my vibe is more like... Like in here, yeah. You're, I mean... Muted, I don't know. Yeah. I like this vibe more, but these are really good. And you can buy like just two pieces of them for 15 bucks too, if you just want like two, because they're actually really cool if you just kind of keep them more sparse too, like two of them in a vase, um, or the whole bunch for 27 Yeah, and a bunch I guess is five. Yeah. All right, two unique finds. This brand, Bloomingville, has like some really cool stuff. So you want to share your sure. little book? So ends? this looks like it's sort of the same, maybe the same as the... Uh, I think those are Bloomingville. Yeah, I'm not sure if these, but you know, like this guy, that same type of uh, material, the same rock. They're so quite great. heavy. Uh, you can see some of the detail on that. And you can put some of your coffee table books in between it or... I don't know. We were just yeah, watching that heavy. that show, Shrinking, and the guy Harrison Ford. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie it's or a, that TV it's show. It's a yet. really funny show on. I think it's it's Apple TV. Yeah, and he has like so many books. His house is actually really cool. I didn't tell you about that when I was watching, but like his house looks really cool, and he has all these cool books. It just makes you want to like have like a library or something, and like I don't know, bookends. I don't know. Yeah. I kind of want to put like a bunch of books. Maybe when in we hit like room. sixty. I know. We got when enough we stuff. To, when we hit sixty, we're gonna travel and have a lot of books. Mm -hmm. And a little that, library. That's the vibe we're going for. That's the vibe we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so this is also Bloomingville. Look at this. This is super heavy. It's definitely like marble. It's a cheese board. We're also going to entertain a lot when we're 60. You know? Oh, and have a dog, right? That was maybe in the I'm mix. definitely going to have a dog. It's going to maybe impact the travel a little bit, but. Oh, yeah. Maybe we know. should get a dog now while we have kids. We're trying to figure these things out. But anyways, this is a little cheese board. Um, it is hand wash only because it's very nice, very nice quality, a nice little piece to have out when you have friends over. Um, I love just to have like really cool hosting things um, that are unique and different. This yeah. looks super expensive. We make a mean cheese board. We do. You know, we you really like find do. those cheeses you really like, you yeah. whip them out just when company comes over. Yeah, and have like just like a couple different ones, like a wood one, this is a marble one, like kind of mix like the, the grains, I guess, marble, wood. What would that be called? Not the grains, but the mix, the, I don't know. The colors? I'm not sure. The surfaces, you... like marble oh, versus wood um, versus material. materials. Yeah, mix the materials. And this one is super heavy and could like literally like kill someone. It's so Keep heavy. it by your bed for home defense. <laughs> home defense. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. These two that we're going to share next are new finds from Creative Co-op which they kind of remind me of like anthropology. They were like homemade looking. It almost looks like you'd get them in another country. So Dylan has a cute little like, what do you got there? A little tea set situation? I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, I'm for the milk. I'm gonna guess, yeah. The milk and sugar, the sugar. and milk. Yes. I guess I've got the spoon uh, in the wrong one. Yeah, you want to put the wood spoon in the... There we go, that makes more sense. Yeah. And that makes sense why it's got that little... Yeah. You know, cut out, okay. And they're really cute. It's all coming together. Shove them up close, they're so cute. Like right. they're very anthro, like creative, creative co-op. I just like to have things that are, I don't know, they, they call it, like they create conversation in your home, they're unique, but you're like, oh my gosh, I got them on Amazon, you know? That's why it's so fun to me, because it's like, oh, yeah. I got an Amazon two-day delivery, so. I sort of like, they all have different, uh, text, not textures, patterns on them, but yeah. it all matches. It all goes together. And yeah. this is like a really cool serving bowl. So if you're having friends over and you're putting out, you know, fruit or whatever, I think this one is so cool. You guys look at this. This is also creative co-op and it is microwave and dishwasher safe, but I just think it's so pretty and you would never, like no one will believe that you got it from Amazon. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, where did you find that from some like really cool like boutique or something? Like, no, straight from Amazon. Yeah, these two, microwave <laughs> and dishwasher safe. They're just really, really cool. I love them. I'm so excited to get those. Cute to decorate with. Next, we're talking about our absolute favorite pillows, and you know that these are our favorite pillows because... Yeah, yep. Well, the inserts, right? So this one's new. This is a new cover, and it's boucle. Boucle is oh. all the rage. Same pillow in here? Same insert, okay. yeah. Okay, these are, these are heavy pillows. They're so heavy. And they're just so good. Like this one that we we have these on our bed. I think these are like the 20 by, I forget. I'll put it in the description oh, box. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's easy to like chop them and like mold them. And they're just so comfortable and heavy. If you haven't like, seen Lee, 
in her little video. She loves she loves to chop. I do. All after she's decorating, she was can you chop? Chopping. See, you can chop yeah, them pretty you, good. You, you can chop them if you get the right size. Like you have to actually size um, up in the pillow. So one size up in the pillow, one size down in the insert, well, which seems weird, but we'll just yeah, well, insert size pillow size. Yeah. Just one above it, right? One above it, okay. yes. Except for I ordered some others, and I, don't, I think I got the wrong size in those ones. But anyways, chop them, super nice. We have these on our bed. This actual cover here is the brand called Muley. It's like M-I-U-L-E-E. -E. And it's just like a velvety, like soft fabric. So, so comfortable, and our kids love them. Everyone wants to cuddle on our bed. Um, so anyways, they have so many different covers on Amazon, but I love these. My mom has these, my sister has these. They come in all the colors. We've had them in black. This is the pure white, I think. And then um, the one that Dylan has is the brand new one that we just got, which is boucle, which is just nice to have like a texture. So I like having like oversized pillows on the couch or on the bed. It just, I don't, it just, I want to put this on the couch with some of these and just create like a big chunky like, vibe yeah i like how i could barely even find the zipper on this like that's, it's an insert but like i thought this was the pillow i actually didn't even know you put this so on nice it. so that's what i like because you can take them off and wash them when you just buy like a pillow you can't really do that you know like yeah, some of the target ones we have it's just done um unless you put a, a cover over it but then yeah i don't then know finding one to fit would be hard but this is really nice boucle is like so popular right now we're sitting on two boucle chairs yep which i guess we could talk about the chairs yeah yeah, this is Walmart, you guys, and she's popular. Look how big it is, yeah. too. The pillows come with it. You can take them off, obviously, but um, I did share this pillow, like, on a reel and chair. on a story. You said oh. pillow. Oh. So, yeah, she shared, she shared the chairs on a, uh, was it YouTube as well or just reels? No, I shared the chairs on um, stories and on my um, Instagram reel one day, and I was like, so many of y'all, like, got them and now they're sold out but maybe we'll by the time we put this youtube video up they'll be restocked so double well, check what was it was this this chair was like this three is, times more expensive than this? this chair is 650 bucks from urban outfitters that's how much you paid for it and this one is literally like, 298 and they both swivel like completely all the way around like look at this one and this one's even bigger. Like, it's so nice. Um, this one's just a lot smaller. It still swivels, um, but it's a little bit harder to swivel. And it's just not as wide. Like, this one's definitely... And this one also comes with the pillows. Yeah. I just... I mean, they're really similar quality, but... Um, this one's This bigger. one is a find. Yeah. Like, this is a good find. Yeah. We ordered four of them, like, for the sitting room. I ordered the first two, and they came right away, and then the other two don't come till June because of their own pre-order. So. Yeah. But if I had to choose, actually, I would go with this chair. I think I would think that this chair was nicer. I would, 100, yeah, 100% go with this one. So hopefully it's back in stock when we share this video, but we'll see. Click down below. Maybe it'll be on pre-order again. Um, it's really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of hit me there on accident. Um, okay, so next we're going to talk about some blankets. So you want to talk about yours first because, you know, you know what this one is. All right, so one of the first gifts I gave her like 18 years ago, something yeah. crazy. We've been together a very long time, mm -hmm. uh, was a Barefoot Dreams blanket. And they always had this unique texture. And this so also sad. has that but is not. It's not Dreams? Barefoot Dreams, no. Okay. It's just a look-alike from Amazon. Um, and I love the colors of this one. Our home is very neutral, so you have like a cream and like a tan color. Um, it's super cute. It just, I love the pattern. It's so comfortable. It's really, really soft. It's the same fabric as Barefoot Dreams. So I don't know what happened, but everyone has the Barefoot Dreams fabric all of a sudden. So I guess maybe it wasn't like a trademark thing. I don't know. Or they just figured it out. Or they figured it out. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's really like... It's a really good blanket, really like, nice. and it comes in all different colors, but I like this color the best. We also have like a camel colored one. How big is this? Um, it's pretty big. It definitely fits you. I think that's the wrong way. There you go. He's six foot two, and uh, I mean... So it's probably six foot? It's probably six foot. Close to six foot? Yeah. Yeah, that it's would work. the perfect cuddle blanket on the couch. We use them all the time. Our kids always fight, about, uh, fight over them. And then this one for me is not really like what I would cuddle with, but it's like what I would decorate with. You can cuddle with it, but I just think it's really good for like, on. Oh, oh, your blankets are making me yawn. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we got a fire on, I got a blanket. 
Anyways, here, guys. all right. This one's for like on the side of the couch because it has the fringe. I'm pretty sure I ordered the black, the black with the white. Um, it does come in other colors, but it just looks good. Like tossed over the side of the couch, you know, right, put it like right here. You just lay here. Um, on the bed, whatever, just like a staple, like fringe blanket um, with just like the window pane. And it does come in other colors too. And just really good quality as well. All right. We have three more things to share. And this, what do you think about that? My first thought was that it felt like it was those rings the magicians use, you know, when they're like, <laughs> watch this, and they like come apart. But I feel like this probably needs to be sat on a book. Yeah. Or that, that's, a, the, or that's, like, the, that's the vibes I'm getting. Like splaying over like the side of a tray. Um, and it's just very, like the wood is really pretty on it. And I like that it has like two different, um, Shapes. Shapes, yeah. Shapes was the word we're looking let's for. Let's go back to kindergarten. <laughs> Those are shapes. Um, and let's just bring that closer. We need the audience at home to see this beauty. Look at that beauty. So it's like a whitewash. What would you call that? Yeah, like a whitewash for sure. See? Good job, Dylan. I'm, I'm learning. That's a whitewash. Yeah. That's a, that's a whitewash right there. Um, I just think it's cute. I love these little pieces for decorating, console tables, shelves, wherever in your house. And then Dylan opened this. We just got this in. He's like... This looks like something like a child would make. I'm like, yeah, that's why it's cool. You know, we just got to put a little like uh, green and white, like blue paint, you know, because there's always like they always painted before. Hey, it's like paper mache. I think this is a, another cool thing to stack, whether it's on a console. I don't know. It just makes your home like feel like worldly. If you have no kids or grandchildren and you want that feel of, you know, the homemade pottery that they make in class, we've got you covered. I've never seen the kids bring home anything that looks no, like that. No, I don't so. think they do that. That's anymore. pretty cool. Yeah. I don't think they do that yet. Uh, they just do paintings with bright colors, which doesn't match the vibe, but that's in the playroom. So anyways, I think this is super cute. Um, just to throw keys in it or whatever, jewelry. I'm just all about like making the house feel like very, I don't know, I'm trying to make it a little more worldly, like more like well-traveled. Before we start traveling. Before we start traveling. <laughs> Speaking of well-traveled, look what we have here. What do you think this is, Dylan? table runner a table runner and it works perfect because we have a black oh not black wall we have black chairs a wood table and this kind of like blends the two because um the pattern is kind of black inside it almost looks like a really pretty rug it does have fringe on the side and it just looks really pretty laid over a table um we can try to insert a video here of us like kind of like showing it over our um kind of like our little breakfast nook that we have it fits really perfectly over just like a circle table you can also do it down um, a rectangular table it's just really really pretty i love the texture on it um, i love the detail it literally looks like a like you know like a parisian kind of like woven it looks rug. nicer it's got that like slightly faded look to it yeah it so looks it's super seems... expensive too yeah and i think it's that bloomingville brand i believe but... right yeah, I think it's really pretty and it goes really well with those placemats that I shared earlier as well. So really cool find. All right, guys, that is it for today. Uh, me and Jeffrey are going to head out and get in some trouble at the diner. We're going to get <laughs> not the diner. Oh, sorry. Like the meat market or the flower garden. You know, he's always in these like little like niche places, you know, where people are creating We're going things. to the Hamptons and we're going to get in, into some trouble. Oh, after we're going that. to the Hampton house. That's where we're also going to travel to. The Hamptons. Oh, let's let's have a dinner in our garden tonight, Ina. Wouldn't that be amazing? Man, she just goes and clips her flowers and has her dinner. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want me to have the hubs back on a video soon. He's not hugging me back, so maybe he's oh, scared. Oh, sorry. He's not coming back. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.